here. It's Mountney and Massey. Lovely header. Well, he had plenty of time in which to just arch the neck and put it to the back of the net. Dane Massey. That's what it is. Just honest, hard-working guys. Pushing the back by Lee Desmond. And Jamie McGrath. Quick free kick. Open over the top to Kelly. St. Pat's lead. Lovely finish by Daniel Kelly. Debut season for the 23-year-old. 9-3 goal. Lovely finish, but again, poor defending by the visitors. Shocking defending, brilliant run by Dean Kelly. We want to work on your touch, young man. That's brilliant. It's just brilliant. I mean, look, eyes on the ball, take it down. Doesn't even want to look where the keeper is. Side foot, inside the post. Brilliant ball in, amazing run, fantastic touch, different class. Here's Mountney mopping up for the home side. Merging Daniel Kelly forward. Kelly in towards Hoover at the back post. Here's Hoover! It's the post. Dark does not much about that. Has it crossed the line? Uh, they're given the goal, I think. Yeah, the assistant on the near side had his flag up. That crossed the line. Brendan Clark is remonstrating with the referee, Graham Kelly. And is that Hoover's goal? But anyway, on the hour mark, it's 3-0 to knock. I'm, I'm not sure that's over the line, to be honest. Again, I don't know if the pass was meant. I mean, Hoogan's got onto it. I was just about to say he's going to get grumpy now. It's hit the post. I don't think that's over. I actually don't think that's over. You know, I mean, again, Hoogan's got on the end of it. He's hit the ball. It's, it's a better on the than this one, yeah. No. Oh, that doesn't look like no. it's crossed the line, does it? The way it bounced up. We might see it from here. It hits the post, then it hits Clark at the back. It's heading towards the goal. Even Birmingham tries to get it off the line. And they can't really see it from there. But it looks with two minutes to go. A league already wrapped up, scrapping for everything. Cries of shoot. McGrath uh, to Shields. Oh, it's hit off the crossbar. That may have come off a defender or more. Georgie Kelly, not sure. As you can see on the replay, but that certainly crashed off the crossbar. Here's Massey in towards Georgie Kelly! 89 minutes and Dundalk, they get 4 0. The substitute does it. A uh, lovely ball, lovely dink. Uh, the pressure's been building, the goal's been coming. 4 0 Dundalk. Brilliant. How good is that? I mean, that just shows you what they're all about. I mean, look, great little intricate play. Shields coming through, flicks it off the crossbar, throws his hands up, should have had it. We go on to the second phase, great ball back into the box. Massey does well, pops it up to the far post. Who's there? The man who just hit the crossbar, not disappointment. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. That is Dundalk in a nutshell. Right now, here at Burial Park, the uh, victorious Dundalk squad are being introduced to their adoring public. Heroes, every single one of them. And uh, when you think of the uh, players that have been involved from the outset, like Chris Shields, John Mountney, Dan Massey, still core members of the squad, hugely important to Dundalk. Yeah, he spoke about that, Chris. I thought he spoke really well in his aftermatch interview, Peter, and he's been terrific tonight. And I suppose it just brings you back to those days when it all kicked off for them. And obviously they had to go through the playoff many moons ago. And as he said himself, they had to fight just to have a club, never mind to have a team. So when you think of the success that they've brought over those years, and the likes of Massey, Shields, those boys that have been there throughout the whole off, and it's those that have created the environment for the rest of them, who, whoever has come and gone, Peter, that they've set the standards. And the standards have to be maintained and improved all the time. Yeah, it certainly is an amazing squad at the moment. Uh, every single week, no matter who has been injured and absent, Dundalk have been able to field extremely strong first 11s. Everybody's played their part. And right now, the snappers are in position to grab the shot that will adorn the front pages tomorrow. The champions of Ireland are about to be officially crowned. Let's go back to our commentary team. Yeah, it's been a remarkable run, hasn't it? Uh, Vinnie Perth alluded to it that seven seasons ago. They were down in Waterford, fighting for their Premier Division lives. How they've turned things around. Five championships in the last six years. It's John Gill. Management team. Making their way out. John Gill. 
Big cricket fan, John Gill. I met him right throughout the summer at cricket games. And in Pembroke. And there's the victorious Vinnie Perth. Big shoes to fill, having taken over from Stephen Kenny his first league title as manager. There's Patrick Hoban together with Brian Garkland in the tunnel. They'll be the two who will be presented with the trophy. Hoban, captain against Cork last week. He certainly put himself around tonight. And there's a smiling Brian Garkland, the 32-year-old former Monaghan Shelburne, real journeyman pro before he came to Dundalk. 27 goals and 148 appearances for Brian Gartland. And for the fifth time in the last six seasons, the Dogs are the champions. And rightly so. Amazing achievement. I mean, this team could go down as probably one of the greatest, John, because what they've achieved has been absolutely phenomenal. Five out of six is serious, serious numbers. And you look at the great teams of the past, the you know, the Rovers, the Fours and all that, and Waterford four in a row, or four out of five, Shells three out of five, Pats three out of four, this side is five out of six. Phenomenal achievement by a phenomenal bunch of players. And a chance for the treble next week in the FAI Cup final. There's Gartland, victorious captain, and who's to say they won't make it six out of seven next season. And, of course, Champions League football to look forward to as well. Ah, look, I think that's probably the, 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 the biggest goal that they'll have now as a club to try and get even further than that than they had before. I'm sure they're very disappointed last year. But you can't take away from the achievements. You can't take away what, what this club has been trying to do. And as everybody in Vinny has reiterated about it, for the last, you know, seven years ago, the club was nearly gone to now be this five out of the last seven, if we work it that way. It's phenomenal. And I, and I think they'll go again. And I think everybody else in the league has got to get at these fellas. But they're just so good. So good. Well, the celebrations are going to continue long into the night, not for these players perhaps, because they do have the cup final to concentrate on next week as Vinnie Perth lifts the trophy. Congratulations to Dundalk, the SSC Electricity League Premier Division Champions for 2019.